Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank the President of the General Assembly, Mr. Morian Stukatov, for inviting me to be part of this meeting. Unfortunately, I cannot join you in person as we are in final preparations for COP21 in Paris. As you are no doubt aware, COP21 is the place where you, nations of the world, and parties to the Framework Convention will put in place the pathways that limit global temperature rise to less than 2 degrees Celsius over the century. The internationally agreed limit of manageable warming and very much a defense line we approach at our peril. The agreement we expect in Paris is just one element of the global effort that consists of four mutually reinforcing parts that hold great potential to carry us towards a truly sustainable climate resilient future. First is the new climate change agreement itself. Second is every country's national plan to increase climate action, the so-called INDCs. Third, a strong finance package to support the transition in developing countries. And fourth, the recognition of the major groundswell of non-state climate action from cities, regions, business, and investors that is also playing its part in catalyzing higher ambition now and in the run-up to 2020, when the new agreement comes into force. With less than one month to go before the curtain goes up at the historic COP21, it is crucial that we are all on the same page with where the negotiations stand and how you can deliver success. The last negotiating session in Bonn produced a text that will be forwarded to Paris. This text is balanced and includes the concerns of every country, but it still needs work and where we have not found common ground, we must build common ground. This text must be circulated in the halls of government in every country so that the heads of state and government that will open COP21 can align ministers and negotiators on a path to a strong, durable agreement. Fortunately, the foundation is in place for a strong agreement. In our INDC synthesis report, the analyzed 146 country plans cover 86% of global emissions, almost four times the level of the first commitment period of the Kyoto Protocol. The INDCs represent a substantial slowdown in emissions growth and are a foundation upon which the Paris Agreement will build to realize the under two degrees Celsius temperature limit. These INDCs are a testament to unprecedented commitment. They are blueprints to achieve an economic transformation built on clean, renewable energy and resilient infrastructures. And at least 100 of the plans include measures to reduce vulnerability and build resilience. In short, they reflect not only aspirations for a climate safe future, but one that meets the sustainable development goals. These aspirational plans must be supported by a finance package that enables the developing world to meet the development goals through sustainable climate safe growth. Indeed, a credible path to meeting the $100 billion per year commitment is one of the primary challenges remaining in Paris. And despite the great progress seen over recent years, achieving successful outcomes in Paris will be a challenge. These are challenges I am confident that member states can overcome. Fortunately, governments are not the only ones acting on climate change. There is currently a massive mobilization of non-state actors taking individual and cooperative action to minimize their climate risk, all done in support of government efforts. Investors, businesses, cities, and regions are acting on climate because it is in their best interest and in the best interest of their clients, constituencies, and countries. The transition to low emission, highly resilient growth is a transition to prosperity sustained over generations. Clearly the world is moving on climate change in a way and at a scale never seen before. And now governments must put in place the policy that accelerates and amplifies this transition. The world is looking to you for a long-term vision and a new model of stable, secure growth. 
the world is looking to you for a near-term plan that provides an orderly transition to this sustainable, climate-neutral, long-term development path. Paris is your opportunity to deliver and put the world on course to secure and stable climate-safe growth for generations to come. Thank you, and I wish you a very productive meeting.